Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today we're talking about routers and modems. Mainly, what's the difference between the two and how do, uh, am I going to set up that wireless network at my house? So this goes with uh, setup and maintenance, and so let's jump ahead into wireless routers. What are they? So wireless routers are going to be in charge of creating that wi uh, Wi-Fi network that you want at your house. So you want the Wi-Fi network, you're going to have to get a wireless router. They look like this typically, and uh, it's important to note that this device, it will broadcast that Wi-Fi signal all throughout your house. So very, very important that you put it either in a central location or wherever that computer or main computing device is going to be. So if you're using uh, your computer upstairs mostly, then you're not going to want to put your uh, wi wireless router downstairs. Okay. Uh, same for vice versa. You know, if you on one side of the house you're using mostly mostly your Wi-Fi signal, whether it be from a smartphone or a laptop or a tablet, you're not going to want your wireless uh, router all the way on the other side of the house. So, if that's what the wireless router does, what does the modem do? Okay, so the modem is the main way that your computers, or sorry, that your uh, your modem's going to com uh, communicate with that internet service provider's network. So, depending on your ISP, you're going to uh, have uh, a a modem that communicates with that. So that's what a modem looks like right there. And so if it's a cable modem, it's going to plug into that cable provider's infrastructure with the coaxial cable. That's typically going to be the standard way. Most of the time it won't uh, really go into a phone jack or anything like that, but that's the cable you're going to see right there, and that's your coaxial cable. So if that's in charge of con uh, connecting and communicating with your internet service provider, you may have seen that internet service providers uh, actually have combined routers and modems that they offer you. So this is good because um, if they offer you one uh, a modem with a wireless router inside, that means you're not going to need that wireless router. So that's a good thing because that'll save you space uh, in your area wherever you have that uh, modem set up. So you might only have that one modem with a wireless router inside of it. And so you might see something that looks like that. What are the positives of this? Again, you're going to save space, but the negative is definitely that they might charge you a rental fee for this. So that could be anywhere from eight to $15 a month. So when you're thinking about these questions with your internet service provider, you may consider buying your own wireless router um, and possibly even your own modem to communicate with that internet service provider rather than pay that extra eight to fifteen dollars rental fee every single month. So I hope this video helped explain the difference between routers and modems. If you have any other video requests that you'd like to see me do, definitely throw it in the comment section. I'd appreciate it if you like my video and subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and have a great rest of your day.